All right. Hello, everybody. In this video, we will talk about the trailer of our special bike and how and why we build it. So, uh, maybe some of you know, at first we had the solar panels, one behind the other, above the bike, like a solar roof. And that design had some advantages, but it also had some disadvantages. So, the advantages were, it gave us shade, so we, didn't, we don't need to put on so much sun cream. Uh, it would protect us from the rain. And um, both solar panels are active during riding. But uh, the solar roof also had some inherent disadvantages and that were it wasn't stable enough and if we would have made it more stable the bike would get too heavy. Um, it worsened the handling. We had uh, very little room for uh, food so we only had a small box. Uh, it put a lot of stress on the rear pannier rack because the the beam of the um, solar roof was on here, our sleeping stuff was on here, our food was on here and two odd leap pannier bags. And uh, the solar roof probably isn't very good when it's windy. We didn't test it but if a big wind gust is coming the bike would probably fall over. So um, we chose to put the solar panels on this trailer which we uh, bought for the, uh, to put the solar panels on and the trailer has some advantages. We have a lot more space for food so we have like a big oddly bag for our food. Um, it's, it's way more stable and the center of gravity is, is lower so the, um, the handling of the bike isn't affected that much. And the trailer is a Avon STD 100. It's a single wheel trailer with, uh, which is um, mounted at the seat post and it's uh, suspended, a suspension. These were some uh, very important um, specifications. We want you to have the um, suspension because it, uh, it lessens the forces on this solo construction which we um, actually welded ourselves. So um, the two solar panels they are stacked on top of each other and they are supported by this aluminum construction. Uh, we made it from aluminum because it's uh, light, it's stable and it's easy to work with if you know how to weld. We got uh, uh, some help from a neighbor, thank the Red for that. And right now I will uh, show you how this mechanism works. So here in the rear we have two locking pins, which we can take out. Here you can see these small things go away. And then we can slide the um, one solar panel behind the back and if we put it here to the front it goes into these hooks which holds it. So when we stop somewhere and we want to charge our bike we take this off and we can put it aside on these uh, hooks which are 3D printed. <laughs> and now also we can see here uh, in the front we have a big hinge, 3D printed uh, from PETG. Uh, we used PETG because it's, um, it's easy to print with and it's also somewhat heat resistant. At first we used, we tried to use ABS but uh, ABS is hard to print with and it also warps a lot. So we used um, PETG and this part is so big that we needed to split it in two parts. So we put a dovetail here and now we have a nice big and stable hinge. Yeah, now you can also see we really changed our focus to make it as strong as possible and as reliable as possible. And in the back we also have a hinge 3D printed from PETG 
and here you can set the angle of the solar panel so it always faces the, the sun. Like this for example. Yeah. Okay. Uh, talking about the solar panels, they have 200 watts each, so um, we have a maximum of 400 watts when we're like this, and when we're riding we have a maximum of 200 watts. Um, the solar cells are from sun, sun power and they are second grade goods, but uh, they worked fine for us so far. Um, the solar panels are very thin and flexible. They are made for RVs, but they also um, fit our job here very good. And we mounted the solar panels on the aluminum construction uh, with glue. So here we have glue and screws. And with this one we have glue and we have a slot where the solar panel goes into. Yeah. And the solar panels, they are connected to the MPPT charge controllers which are also from AliExpress, so solar panels are from AliExpress. These charge controllers are from AliExpress. One for each solar panel and um, we try to seal them. This one is pretty good sealed but uh, this one's not so good. So we uh, additionally put uh, drainage holes in the bottom because uh, it's very difficult to seal a system perfectly. So it's always good if you have a drainage hole. And then uh, the power goes here through this cable with this special plug. It's an XT60 plus a servo plug. This is for the solar power and this is for lights. Which I can show you right now. So if you come to the back, we have uh, one uh, rear light. We have these two braking lights. They turn on when we brake. And we have reflectors here and also reflectors on the side and on the front so that people can uh, see our bike very good and they don't hit the solar panels. Additionally, on our uh, journey we put on this dongle. It's for safety, so when people overtake us, they don't overtake us so narrowly or so closely. It's especially important in the southern countries. And uh, yeah, here we have an, uh, some more reflectors. And um, talking about the trailer, um, when we bought it, it wasn't w working very good because here is a big gap. And we had to put a washer there. And this was uh, mounted with a quick release, but that had a lot of play. So we just put a bolt in there. So. We were a bit disappointed by Avon, but uh, we made it work. What else? Here in the front we have a Abus alarm box for um, when we leave the bike alone. We turn this on and if somebody shakes the bike, the alarm turns on. Um, here we um, put a mudguard made from duct tape which is working very good for us. It's light and it uh, saves the, save the luggage from all the dirt and stuff. And here at the bottom you can see these big 3D printed parts. They are like our um, bike trailer stand. So if we remove the trailer, we can put them on there. And that's nice and stable. Okay, that's it about uh, the presentation of the trailer. I hope you liked it. If you have any question, put them uh, put them down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.